The 40th anniversary of the 1981 album Tattoo You by the Rolling Stones will get a reissue in October. Okay. And it will have nine new songs that they had considered releasing on Tattoo You but never did on the reissue. So you could get, get stream okay. it or get a disc or whatever. And one of them is called Living in the Heart of Love, which they recorded 40 years ago but didn't get on the disc. That excites me a little bit. That's a good little track. Yeah, it's not bad. Sounds pretty it's kind cool. of brown sugary. It does sound yeah, like very brown, brown sugar. sugar vibe. You're right. Nine songs originally recorded while the Stones were making the album, recently completed and enhanced with additional vocals and guitar by the Stones. They came in and did a little uh, update on them, and now it'll be released in October. Now, They're supposed to be touring. Yes. And they haven't Any canceled, day now, right? they haven't canceled they, anything They have not yet. canceled not yet. That I've heard. Garth canceled. They Garth did. canceled stu- stadium shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of, uh, plenty of other acts are not. But so, I've seen uh, some acts are still... Going going I've seen friends at concerts and things. Oh, yeah. So. Well, Chris Tim just told me this is another, okay, a different generation. Appreciate this. Okay. Yeah, uh, at least, and Biggie, you probably have seen this too, but we're different age groups, but people in my social media feeds, women of a certain age have been flocking to see the Alanis Morissette show. Oh, yeah. Big that time. Is a, apparently a huge deal. Yeah. Uh, I'm a woman of a certain age. You are. And I like Alanis Morissette. I was a big Alanis mm-hmm. fan at the time. Was I I, mean, I think she I didn't, scared you. Well, I, you. Let's be honest. Right. Yeah. I, I you didn't, couldn't she, be really she was big. Per, She was pretty loud. Uh, I'd listen to my car. And scary. I didn't go to Lilla Fair or anything, but I'd listen no. to my car. That really empowered women, and I was right there cheering them on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll oh. tell you this also I've noticed on social media about the Alanis Morissette concert. Mm. Um, most people uh, that went also put up, I've had these tickets for two years. Oh, oh really? really? Have- yes, I believe that two years ago mm. it was she was touring because it was the 25th anniversary of her album Jagged Little Pill, I see. which she was going to perform. I don't know if she still did. She was going to perform mm-hmm. the whole thing. That's what that's what bands do now. The whole album. What they do is, yeah, when they... When they tour for you know twentieth anniversary or something, they mm-hmm. say, "Come, we're going to perform the entire album, you know, live." So that was the push two years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm sure she probably still did, but a lot of these people were like, "I bought these." Yes, you know, I've just huh. been holding on to them forever ago, yeah. and now have them. Mm-hmm. And I went out there. Uh, I liked her. I like Sarah McLaughlin. She's more your speed than Alanis to me. Yeah. A little bit lighter. Mm-hmm. Little I think late, you liked Alanis until you knew what her music was about. Yeah, she's or... just I think she's just too edgy for you. I think yeah. she'd terrify you. Yeah, sometimes. Person, even though she's what, four foot eight? <laughs> yeah. She is pretty frightening. Well, sometimes in the gym they'll play that one about uh Dave Coulier in the theater. Yeah. And I always when I hear it, I'm like, there it is. You know, yeah. no matter what I'm doing, if I'm rowing or whatever, like, cut yeah, it out. There it is. <laughs> You make eye contact with all the other mid, the 50-something gals. Yeah, like, all right, y'all heard it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They put a little extra beat in there. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, would I go down They're going to have to edit this song, believe me. Yeah, oh, I always say that. I'm like, oh, listen, look at this. Look at this. Here's another one for the, uh, this is for the older set. We got a fight brewing between Gene Simmons and David Lee Roth. Gene, apparently in an interview recently, Revealed that Dave would no longer be opening for Kiss on their farewell tour. I guess that's coming back. Okay. Uh, before the pandemic, Dave David Lee Roth was opening. For the Kiss. last show I saw. Oh uh, yeah, you went to that. You said he was good, didn't you? I had a great time. I mean, mm. Kiss put on a Kiss show with you know thousands of dollars worth of pyrotechnics, and yeah. David Lee Roth played the songs that I wanted to hear. I mean, his voice is lo- he's lost a step. Okay. Physically and, and vocally, but he played the songs I wanted to hear. All right. So uh, Gene Simmons says, in his heyday, Dave was the best front man there was. But modern day Dave is not the same. I want to remember somebody like Elvis Presley in his prime back in Memphis doing all the things he could do. I don't want the bloated, naked Elvis on the bathroom floor. So he's comparing David Lee Roth now. Well, that's a little uh, harsh. Oh, I mean, look, they, they, these two guys see each other way more than I ever did. Mm-hmm. What, I know, what I noticed about it as you know a fan just sitting in the audience is that you know the kiss stage set is mm. massive yeah david lee roth had about 10 by 10 foot uh-huh you know, he had no lights okay no pyro they didn't uh well no because he everything they did they can't the, mm-hmm. the kiss set was already set up so he had to perform in front of it i see so they didn't actually with a giant them. curtain oh i see so it didn't uh it wasn't really focused on him it's not very theatrical okay all right well, they, I mean, when, it, it's hard to be theatrical. Right, because all that's around him. Yeah. So that's what Gene Simmons said. Now, uh, David, Lee Roth, David Lee Roth responded 
by posting a picture of a little kid giving the finger 18 times. He just kept posting that. Wow, thing. okay. All right, went back and forth. Uh, no word back from Gene Simmons. Paul Stanley said in a post on Friday, on stage, he's still Diamond Dave to me. This is negotiation. <laughs> so you think he might be back after all as possible. It wouldn't shock me. If they negotiate things out. All right, so that's our, the, the older set. Yep, okay. that's the older set. D.L. Roth versus Gene Simmons. <laughs> Alanis Morissette, that's my generation there, bro. And <laughs> the Rolling Stones, the Stones releasing a 40th, you know, more music from Tattoo You. For the newer, younger set, Lizzo has said <laughs> yeah. she's going to follow in the footsteps of Matthew McConaughey. She's not worn deodorant in two weeks, and she oh, feels totally God. free. She feels great oh, about it. <laughs> she said, How we, do we have to lay all the blame of this on Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis? It's all him. And, um, there are no grooming. They're grind babies. <laughs> yeah. And then Dax Shepard and his wife, Kristen Bell, to chime in. Same thing. Yeah. We don't we don't bathe our children either. I was watching some of their game show last night. Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell. How is that? I didn't care for it. Okay. I told my wife, I feel like I'm the guy now who says everything is bad. You know, when I see something new, I was like, that's terrible. Wow. You know, I, I this is like a switch that flips when you hit the, the birthday you just did. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> so I said, you know, it, this is bad. For instance, I was thinking about, um, we have, remember the other day we were talking about Gmail. Chris Tim hates it. He hates Despises Gmail. it. So we've done really three updates in the last two or three years here technologically we have something called Promo Suite. I hate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have Gmail. Hate it. We have something called V Creative. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> three Designed it. to make life easier all for three everybody. Of them. All three yeah. Of them. And all they've done for us is make it more headaches. Yeah. And and if you suggest this thing, let's go back to the old way. They're like, oh, with pen and paper, we're not doing that. Are you a caveman, ridiculous. You know, get your knuckles off the ground. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so I see a show like this Dak Shepard Game of Games or whatever. Not it's like the a home game. Show. Yeah. I thought, look at these two. I can't stand this it. This what we're doing. <laughs> That's, and, always, that's and always the go-to. You love them. I yeah. do like them a lot. You love them both. I'm a fan. Inexplicably. It's true. <laughs> Is this what we're doing now? <laughs> Kristen Bell. I knew She's in Frozen. She's in Frozen. And I, I love her in Frozen. That's the only time I've ever won an argument with Chris Dim. He said she didn't <laughs> sing her music. I said, I think she does. And even the Dimmers came after me. Yeah. Like, they're, the Bellers came hard. Yeah, Disney deluge. Oh, yeah. Don't you dare. <laughs> You know, I didn't know. I only knew her from Frozen. That was that it. Was it. So, and then I saw Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I was like, that's that Kristen Bell yeah, girl that I like. Boy, then she got real sexy. She's hot now. She's hot in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. But not in Family Game Night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just a little different. And I just looked at it and I thought, what do we do? This is awful. And then I see clips from The Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise. And I thought, this is awful. I'm becoming that person that's just like, this, yeah. is, well, this Everything is, is garbage. This is garbage. It's terrible. You know, I don't like this. You're this is getting old. I mean, really? Isn't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, and then I just thought, uh, I guess I thought this over the weekend after Chris Dim was railing against Gmail. I thought, I don't like anything we've updated. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like any of the technology. And you never will. I know. I guess not. You two are institutionalized. You like where you are. That's right. But well, when they add something new, you're... Well, we put in this state-of-the-art studio two or three years ago, and I haven't liked it since. Like, this, yeah. this is no good. This doesn't work well, you know? I just... Exactly. We're not into those kinds of no. things. Were cameras in here? Didn't Please. like change, yeah. Uh, it changed. Well, I will tell you this. The cameras, more so than anything else, they promised they'd be out of the way. Yes. And they have been. They are. No, that's so I mean, that hasn't just... that has not messed with you all. I was that's very right. nervous. Yeah. I know. And I made it clear to everyone involved. Yeah. It has to be out of their way. Plus, I like my angle. They shoot from the ceiling, which is nice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, the rest of us are right on it. I know, it makes me look it's better. like a slimming selfie yeah. stick built right in. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Drew talk, our engineer said we can lower that camera. I said, Don't. <laughs> Leave it where it, it is. Take it higher. <laughs> Take it <higher. laughs> Shoot me from above. <laughs> How about I, a sharper angle? <laughs> right. I don't want anything coming up. Mm. I don't want an unflattering angle, that's for sure. Well, yes, you're right. It was Ashton Kutcher who started this with Mila Kunis saying, uh, we don't bathe our kids till we see the dirt on them. And now Lizzo says she's following up on what Matthew McConaughey does, not wearing deodorant. And she said she hadn't worn it in two weeks and she smells better and feels better, which is like a trend, I guess, going on with these people. I took a shower Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. My wife and I had gone for a walk kind of mm -hmm. late in the afternoon. I mm -hmm. took a shower Saturday evening, mm -hmm. put applied deodorant. Yes. Got up Sunday, mm -hmm. did not shower. It was Sunday. We kind of had an easy day. My eye was hurting. Yes. My eye was really, really bad. Of course. So she went for a walk. I did not. Mm -hmm. All I had to do, all I had to do outside the house 
was roll the trash can to the curb. And in that time, I was outside, and I rolled that next-door neighbor lady's can out, too. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm outside 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. My deodorant failed miserably. Really? In that, I stank. In that amount of time? I stank. That's so, cool. sorry, Lizzo. Sorry, yeah. McConaughey. Doesn't, I'm a daily. Well, it doesn't work for everybody, that's for sure. I believe... You've Mc- got to have the right chemistry. Uh, agreed. I guess I believe McConaughey, because other people have said he smells great, but most people... I mean, most most people overwhelming. You got to have deodorant. Yeah, that's why it was invented. That's what. Look at the eye. Look how many choices you have. I know. Yeah, yeah. Incidentally, your day is exactly like my son's. All he ever does is roll the cans to the car. That was last night for him. He's like, oh, <laughs> it's the one thing. Is it trash day again? Oh, <laughs> recycling too. Oh, oh. <laughs> two cans. <laughs> how often do they come? <laughs> Once a week. <laughs> He, what? Ne- he never no. he doesn't know what day he's starting school back today or he doesn't he doesn't even know what day it is normally he's like you know, I, mean, I told him yesterday he's like is it sunday it is you have to remind him of what day it is